Hey guys, today I'm going to show you my modern burn, which is a little different. It's not the cheap burn. And then I'll go over some new deck techs. Uh, first and foremost, I don't want people to say, oh, this deck is not good. This deck is not good. It's not, yes, it's not a net deck. I get it. It's not a net deck. I hate playing net decks because I feel like I would rather lose and play a deck that I designed, I quote unquote designed. And you'll see, this is kind of a unique deck. This is the sideboard. Great. Um, sideboard, you can go into mono red burn uh, in case like it does extremely bad. And sometimes it will do extremely bad. So this is your sideboard. You got your free blood moons for uh, great revels, uh, young pie matchers, and your forked bolts, which is very, very good. And you can become a traditional burn deck. Like you, your list runs the exact burn deck. This is a $25 common as of the time of this recording. So it is good to know I have them. And I've always had these. I just never got any more. And I don't know how I obtained them. Four detection probes, which you're never going to play blue because you don't have blue in the deck. Free become immense. So this is part solely the green and one, why you play green. Four bolts, rift bolts, as you're going to see, there's a lot more. Four Taylor Swifts, and I would love to get altars of this, guys. So whoever does altars, um, I would love to get altars of this of Taylor Swift. And I obviously would pay you or whatever you wanted to do in trade. Uh, next, Commodore. So this is my new version of this deck, and it works extremely well. This gets an artifact in the graveyard. This gets a sorcery. You have bolts galore. Uh, and you can just smash in. You can also bolt their Tamagoyf. If their Tamagoyf comes out first, you can bolt their Tamagoyf. And because the, tam your t the Tamagoyf has one more toughness than it does have attack, if they block your Tamagoyf, it's not advisable they do that. You can just bolt down theirs and you have having the only Tamagoyf on the field, pretty good. Four Lava Spikes, four Lightning Bolts, for Boros Charms, for Helixes, and that does it for the deck. So you pretty much, uh, the Gitaxian Probe is very good with um, this card. So as is the Bobble. The Bobble is insanely good because it gives you the delving mechanic that you need for Become Immense. Um, yeah, Becoming Immense does take away from the Tamagoyf, but a lot of times you need that one creature to hit in. So you have eight creatures, right? And Become Immense is not something that always works, but when it does, it does incredibly. Uh, it finishes the game. It's that extra six points of damage from nowhere, where it is a lot of times you pay one green for it and then it finishes off the game. So I don't want to sacrifice this card. This card is very important to me, so I'm not going to recklessly attack into uh, something that could kill it. I'd rather keep it for late game and then you know, your opponent is always going to try to attack you, especially in the Jun builds, and you just don't block, and you just swing back for lethal the next turn. Uh, but that being said, you know, this is the best creature in modern right now, and you can pump, like, if you have a Fetch Land, Fetch Land, Bobble, Gitaxian Probe, Lightning Bolt the first, first turn. So Lightning Bolt, Gitaxian Probe, Bobble, Fetch Land. That's four types in your graveyard already. Then next turn you play the Goyf, and you're like ready to go. I mean, you're pretty much ready to go. He has, and that's assuming your opponent hasn't added anything relevant to the graveyard. He's a four five on turn two. That is probably only going to get bigger and bigger. So, I mean, it is very, very good. Um, it's incredibly good in this build. That's why we have it. It's also incredibly expensive, but that's another story, I guess. And now the land base is very simple. Obviously, we're going to play a ton of shocks and fetches, and probably we need to pay, play more fetches. One ton, uh, a playset of stomping grounds, four sacred foundries, four wooded foothills, and four bloodstain mirrors, and then four mountains. Would I go down to? like no mountains and just fetch lands, I probably would. I definitely would consider it. 
like I would go ahead and grab the arid mesas for sure. Like these could easily be four arid mesas. And then that would be our land build. I feel like it would be okay. And um, one of the reasons I feel like it will be okay because you need to finish your opponent fat. This deck either wins on turn four or you just lose. And you're either going to hit them with a huge Gwoif or they're going to just, or they're going to kill your Gwoif and then you lose. I like a deck. It reminds me a lot of a combo deck and that you have to protect your combo pieces. But in this case, your combo pieces are more relevant because they do extra stuff. I don't know. Do you guys like this deck? Leave me a comment below. What would you change in the deck, if anything at all? Bye, guys.